Alongside Teddy Atlas, good evening and welcome to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds among light heavyweights. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch him up. All right, let's go. Opening round scheduled for 10. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. The cannon's right hand working well that time. He scored well. The Sandman's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Unable to score with the hook. Nice. The Sandman's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Locks that belt line well. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. End of the round. And this is a little bit hard to take if you're sitting back at home watching this fight and saying, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. See, you're taking for granted that... What, is he scared? He's fearful? Hey, everybody's scared. Anyone who's in that ring is scared. He's not controlling his fear. He's not taking it. And that's for people in all aspects of life, whatever they do. You have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you, and you got to put it on the side and say, okay, right now, I'm not going to let that get in the way. He's letting it get in the way. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Now he's targeting upstairs. Good defense, just covering up down low. Able to get rid of that one. And now he scores well with a straight right. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. The Sandman's defense, is it ever good? 
look at how easy he's able to block those punches. The cannon's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Final 10 seconds of round number two. The cannon's objective is to land that jab, and he did so right there. End of the round. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas with you ringside. He just didn't throw enough, Teddy. I mean, you got to go out there and put something forth if you want to win the round. Hey, sometimes it's complicated. Sometimes it's pretty simple. You don't throw punches, you don't win fights. Just, just, just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it's nice work out there. Just keep fighting smart. Keep busy. Don't take a break with this guy. You hear me? Nice work. And round number three is underway. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. <laughs> Early on in this fight, one of the things I'm gonna look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all their punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they can throw deep, but they can throw the short patterns. They can throw the out, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. <laughs> Looking good. The Sandman's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Now hugging on the inside. That's a hook right to the flank. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. Back and forth exchange. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's get moving out there. This guy's gonna win this fight. If you don't take control, son, you need to take control. Just don't go crazy in there. Box smart, my man. The cannons out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight. But they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. Teddy, it's hard to believe that he'll be able to get anything going if he doesn't throw more jabs. Uh, it's kind of like trying to speak the English language without knowing the alphabet. I mean, <laughs> the jab is ABC. Don't let him get to you, kid. Comes right back at him with a left hand. What a big shot, that hook right on the gut. Halfway through round number four. Punch! 
A headshot blocked. The cannon's corner knows the situation here. Yes, we're up in a close fight, but anything can happen that can turn things around and go against us. All right, he's winning a fight. I mean, he's winning. He's taking it. You got to take it to him this round, all right? You got to bring it. The left hook is working good. Just apply some fucking pressure. You understand what I'm saying? Another round, and if it keeps up with the rest of them, it'll be closely contested and hard to score. Not much action as he just ties up. Work the body, kid. Body shot. The Sandman's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Come on, kid. Go, kid. Didn't get it done going to the body there. The Sandman's left landing well. The cannon's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. The Sandman's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Focus! Halfway through this round here. Way to block there. The Sandman's got to be moving more than this, Teddy. I mean, you cannot win a fight just standing stationary like this. Well, you know, if his opponent could have, he would have gotten him to sign a contract and say, hey, I want you to stand right in front of me all night long so I can do whatever I want. And he's doing whatever he wants. He could go down. Lynch, Lynch. Boy, he was damaged, but now he's defending himself well. So we've come to the halfway point of what has been a very highly competitive Good. bout all right. and Teddy if it stays that way throughout this night then this is going to be an all-time classic keep your hands up all right you have to keep your hands up so Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the metal of a person is when you test them, when you push them up against the cliff. And he's being Lex, tested now, Lex. and he's shown what he's made of. He's throwing a lot of punches here. Now, his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you got to shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you got to go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. Uppercut! Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Body shot lands. It was the right. Hook! Hook! The Sandman's well off the mark that time.
Keep moving. Keep moving. Commits to the straight right. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. End of the round, and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the taking. Yeah, whoever finishes off strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of forgot where the separation was. And whoever grabs the last part of the round, that's who you remember. It's very important in this kind of fight, finish up good at the end of the round. Take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a risk. You gotta pick up the speed, all right? So pick up the speed. Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely oh, contested bout moving. throughout. The Cannon's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. The Sandman's showing you a little defensive skill there. I'd better move away from that punch. The Cannon's defense is paying off punch. now. He's punch. got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing. And that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing, is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part, is letting your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. The cannon's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Yourself. At the halfway point of round seven. One. The right hand scores well. <laughs> Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Ring signifying the end of the round. If you want this fight, this is it. You heard it. Keep on him. Listen, okay. I need you to throw three nations. Seven rounds complete. Teddy's scorecard does have it clearly in one direction. The Cannons earned that lead on the scorecards, but his opponent has also done some damage. Yeah, it hasn't been exactly a picnic. I mean, it started off that way, but the ants are coming. They're starting Pace to get over this a little bit. Here. It's getting a little hairy. number eight able to cover up along the belt line blocks that one tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark the cannons showing us a great 
display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy, and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught this, that yeah, the head moves, but the body doesn't. The body is stationary right in front of you. Right now his opponent should not be going to that head. He should be going downstairs. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. What a difference from corner to corner. As he sits on his stool, he knows that he is in complete control of this fight, peppering his opponent with power shots. Well, it's been like that all night long. Anything he throws finds a target. Relax. How we you feeling it. out there? Now, you're not winning this fight, right? Uh, you're not winning. He's beating. I need you to throw more than one punch out there. Away. Another round. Will it go in another one-way direction? It's been a one-sided fight so far tonight. The Cannon's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. the elusive target with that straight right. Hook. Hook. And he's holding. Halfway through the ninth round. Committing to the body work now. He lands the right hand. the body shot punch punch Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. And this round comes to an end. The cannon's in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his P's and Q's. Come on, baby, keep smart. You got this. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. This is round number 10, scheduled for 10. See, the defense pays Pace off as down. he gets rid of that downstairs. Focus. Watch the hook. You see him holding on. The Sandman's proving to be elusive. Good way to protect the midsection. The Sandman's been able to let loose. He's throwing punches. He's just not landing enough of them. Well, he's throwing them from a little too far away. He's not getting into that punching left chamber. Right, he's starting to launch right. him just a little too soon, and his opponent is warned. Halfway.
way through this 10th and final round. The cannon's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Final minutes of the final round. Relax, relax. home in the last 10 seconds of this final round. Completely one-sided fight, at least that's the way we saw it. Yeah, I mean, if you saw it any other way, you'd have to put a warning out the next time these judges judge a fight, kind of like on a pack of cigarettes, you know, this could be hazardous to your health. I mean, these guys could be hazardous to your career if they score it any other way. Here's the official decision. A unanimous decision. Teddy, your scorecard falls in line, and everybody here in the arena knows exactly what happened tonight. Yeah, this was an easy one. I mean, I think that you would have had a big problem with the crowd, not to mention me, your broadcaster right here, if these judges gave it any other way. Thanks for being with us, everybody. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.